it's the nature of the way my brain is configured and my life, etc., that I'm constantly putting together little equations of words um, because I feel like there are phenomena that are intangible that connect to one another and I've always been fascinated with ideas and ideas are kind of the obsession behind every single one of my projects like the power of ideas to bring people together and even dominate a personality and be transmitted and broadcast or hoarded in a conspiracy but I just realized that the key reason ideas are valuable is that they represent options. Options are, within a financial framework, different things that you can do to deploy your resources and your time being your key resource. An option gives you a little bit of wealth. It gives you different things to do in order to bring an idea to realization. And you don't have an option without an idea underpinning it. So the more ideas of yours that you catch, the more options for action you have. And that is the core of happiness. It's not having things. It's not being things. It's doing things. It's having the ability to do more with every single second that is in front of you. And when an app like this shows up, it gives you options. It makes you able to do things that you weren't able to do before. So I'd, I'd love your thoughts on that. I think that this theory of ideas having inherent value because they represent real options is critical and it kind of flies in the face of the idea that, oh, ideas have no value because execution is everything. Well, execution is nowhere without a sufficiently amazing idea to guide it. So ideas precede options which precede action. And it follows that without any ideas, you have no options, which I hope everybody out there got that shuddering feeling of, well, I better value my ideas a little bit more because your ideas are your life. Your ideas are where you might take the rocket ship that is your soul next.